Hi everyone, this is Andre. So, I believe everyone has heard about the coronavirus in uh, Wuhan, China. Um, it's been a uh, very uh, epidemic and um, spreading quite quickly. So, <clears throat> I want to talk about um, first how the process of uh, virus invasion, how our virus invades our body, and um, my perspective from TCM, and also what you can do to prevent um, to prevent the, the spreading and also prevent you from getting sick from from the virus. So, first of all. Um, the invasion of virus, uh, in the in the perspective of Chinese medicine, the first it has to enter through um, our nose or our mouth, um, or or eyes, um, to in order to affect our body. So when the virus is a at a very superficial level of our body, our body will. Uh, our immune system will react very, very quickly and cause, and uh, we'll, we'll get have symptoms like fever, chills, um, body aches, and before the virus goes a step further into our body. So we see this kind of symptoms more happens more in children than than adults because. When we're adults, our immune system are tend to be a little bit weaker um, than children's. So the virus will enter very quickly through our su superficial, enter our, you know, nose or mouth or throat, and then invade further into our lung. So when that happens, um, you bec you get sore throat, you cough or um, if it invades into our stomach or digestive system, you get, uh, you might have, have nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea, or, could, or even constipation in some, some viruses. So, um, it, so if you are somebody when you get sick, you don't have fever or chills or body ache, these symptoms and you only get coughs or you only get sore throat, it means that the virus already invaded into your body and you shouldn't be happy that you don't get fevers because only when you have fever it it, it means that the virus is stopped at the border. So consider our body a like a country. So this is Um, consider this is our country, uh, it's our body, and this line is our border of our country. And at the borders, there are lots of custom officers, uh, maybe police, or even some militaries within um, very close distance of our border. So when uh, the terrorists, one or two, or very few terrorists trying to invade us. If our officer caught them, they, they'll get caught and sent away or go to prison very quickly. However, if there are lots of terrorists or it's even like army trying to invade us, then our army, our military will come and help at the border and will it will be causing a lot of um, a lot of fight or battles at the border because we're trying to stop this uh, invasion from go coming into our country. So when this happens, there there'll be shootings and uh, of guns and maybe missiles or even uh, tanks or 
lots of weapon, lots of fighting going on here. So when this happens to our body, we'll get fever. Because when our body temperature rises, our immune system is more active than when at our normal temperature. And you get chills and body aches because this is happening. Now if you take if you take a, a pill or a drug to reduce the fever, you're basically telling your armies to back off saying okay we don't want this reaction we don't want this fight here and uh, you aren't our military is causing a big scene we don't want that so let's reduce our body temperature reduce the fever and these symptoms will also reduce because we're not putting up a fight here so when we don't put up the fight here the invasion will quickly enter our body it can go through our lung, it'll become a cough. So maybe you're somebody who, whenever you get sick, your cough, you don't get these symptoms, but you, you cough for a couple weeks before you're completely okay. So that means your immune system at a superficial level, at our first, first defense is very weak. And also uh, for some people, they're and their tonsils will be swollen because tonsil is also our our first defense before the virus or bacteria can in, enter into our uh, airway in our throat and goes into the lung. So if you have your tonsils removed, means your you don't have a first defense. So in Chinese medicine. When this happens, we don't purposely try to uh, reduce. We don't purposely try to reduce somebody's fe somebody's fever. What we do is we find a way to let the terrorist exit. So let the virus exit our body with a very with the most convenient way. For example, when this happens, <coughs> the virus is at our superficial level. So it's in our skin, in our muscle. So the Chinese medicine uh, will provide uh, a formula to help your body sweat, to kind of help the virus exit our body through sweating or through peeing. Or if the virus enters through our digestive system causing uh, any type of digestive problem, we could also purge by uh, promoting a bowel movement to get rid of the virus. Or if it's in the lung, we'll try to, or if we could also try to, um, <coughs> by improving, increase the temperature of the lung or by um, vomiting, we'll, we'll be able to get rid of the virus from our chest area. So that's how Chinese medicine uh, combat with any kind of virus invasion, whether uh, whether it would be a um, SARS, SARI, or um, or just kind of influenza or a common cold. We don't really care about what kind of virus that is. We don't care about what the names of the terrorists or which country they are from. As long as we know where they are in our country and what is the closest exit of our country, we'll try to get rid of them from that exit. Because we have a strong, we can provide a very strong uh, defense system in, at our border. But once the virus, once the terrorist invades our country or the virus goes in your body, it's more difficult to get rid of them. So that's why we don't promote uh, people taking uh, uh, over-counter drugs to uh, combat with the fever, or we don't promote people taking uh, antibacteria because you're you're just 
helping the virus enter your body you're reducing your defense system when you're doing that so there are a couple ways uh, we 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 can do at home uh, when you're when you're sick for example when you have fever chills or body ache fever chills body ache we want to promote sweating so what you can do we can take a hot bath you can take a hot bath to to allow your body to sweat a little bit so that most of the virus can can exit through sweating or you drink lots of water so like your doctor says drink more water drink water or tea <coughs> to promote urination to help uh, getting rid of the, the virus through urination <coughs> so if um, sorry also because when your when your body is fighting against this uh, invasion we need to use a lot of our armies from other areas we need to call them to to the the scene of the, the invasion right so when this happens our digestive system or our other system will be a little bit weaker so you don't want to eat something that's difficult to digest because that's going to use that's going to use up your military your your energy to to kind of help digest uh, the food that you're eating so you want something that's very digestive uh, i would normally suggest uh, a porridge or something or like a chicken soup chicken noodle soup something fluid easy to digest so you're not putting a toll on your system by um you know calling the army back from the from the fight to help you deal with the food that you're eating <clears throat> so these are the things that you can do at home so if you have done this and you are still not getting better then you can go see your Chinese medicine doctor they usually have a formula to help you get rid of the virus in depending on where it is so all we need to do is do our diagnosis to find out wh which part which part of the body um, the virus has invaded and we will we'll give the formula accordingly because in Chinese medicine when we're dealing with flu or common cold it can be subdivided maybe to 70 60 70 kinds and each kind will require a slightly different formula or a completely different formula so it's not just one drug cures all uh, in Chinese medicine and also remember to stay at home as much as you can and avoid public areas and also cough or sneeze into your sleeves don't sneeze into your hands or cough into your hands because your hand can touch doorknobs and handles and or you shake hands with people or, or you accidentally touch uh, an area and leaves your here leaves your virus there and other people could catch you very very easily um so that's it for today things are half of the things you probably already know already and um, if you are really sick make sure you stay home or you don't or you go to a hospital um, don't uh, don't try to um, just take Tylenol and think you'll be fine. Uh, that's it for today. I'll see you next time. Bye.